Hi, I'm David, and this is the installation guide for the Epic Oval Cylinder. So inside the box, we have the instruction guide and the programming instructions. When we take these out, we have the Epic 42 millimeter cylinder body. We have an Allen key for installing the battery, and the battery sits below here. In the box are also four cams. The cylinder works with the standard range of cams, and there are four cams supplied in the box. Select the cam that aligns with the required lock body functionality. And if you're replacing the cylinder, feel free to bring across the existing cam. So keep the door open while you're installing the cylinder. Firstly, remove the faceplate from the lock body. Behind the faceplate, there'll be a pin or a fixing screw and just make sure you take out the right pin relating to the cylinder you want to install. Next, insert the cylinder body and ensure it is pushed all the way home. Reinstall the pin into the door and replace the faceplate. Next, we're going to install the battery. So firstly, remove the two grub screws. And slide off the knob. Insert the battery, ensuring the positive terminal is facing towards you. Ensure to align the keypad terminal with the battery terminal and press gently while fastening the grub screws. This completes the installation of the cylinder. I'll now show you how to use the lock and also how to change the master pin. The top left key is always number one, no matter which orientation the keypad's in. The default pin is six ones. And if the correct code is entered, the keypad flashes green and the cylinder is now engaged with the lock body. After 10 seconds, the cylinder will automatically disengage or you can press any button to immediately disengage the cylinder for security reasons. To change the master pin, hold down the number six key for 10 seconds. The keypad will flash orange to let you know you're in programming mode. And first enter the master pin, which is six ones. Select three for the option to change the master pin and now enter a new master pin. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we've got to enter it a second time to confirm. The keypad now flashes green. So if we enter one, two, three, four, five, six, and the new pin is now active. You can add up to 12 additional pin codes and further information on this and other features of the lock can be found at the link below. Thanks for watching.